I fear it's coming to a head. Woe is you, should it play out on English soil. Listen, sir, I, I think maybe you should find somebody else to take my place on this whole stay at the hotel. Miss Cole has requested that you be her personal minder for the duration of her stay. It will stay that way. But I hate opera. Of course you do. So do I. Fortunately for me, I'm sitting here and you're sitting there. So, that means I have the ability to assure Mr. Lighthouse and Mr. Buck out there, along with the good people of Germany, that Miss Cole couldn't have picked a better man to keep their national treasure safe and satisfied. Yeah, Detective Pippin. It's Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. bye. There is only one room where the guest is unaccounted for. It's a Mr. Morris Lang. I think we've got him. Escort Miss Cole back to the hotel. Make sure there's someone with her at all times. I think she has a thing for you. Uh, detective! You have no idea. <laughs> Khan Liebchen. National. He says he's English. And these are the stops on her tour. Letters. Never opened. Sent back to him from her management company. Things are starting to take shape around here. Mm. took with them. Jack Violet, they're coming, sir. Miss Cole, she's on her way down. On her way for dinner, sir. Don't want anybody near this room until it's been completely dusted for prints. Let's run a check on Morris Lang, the American Englishman and Frenchman through the computer. Let's find out who the hell this guy is. Agent Heinrich, German police. Hello. Gentlemen. How are you doing? Good. Did you have a nice flight? Of course. Uh, well, we have several of our own agents guarding Miss Cole as we speak. She assures us that you're the man for the job. Well, that's very kind. Well, congratulations. She's a terrific woman. You're the envy of Germany. Uh, Detective Arlette, could you tell us again what you've told me? Yes, sir. Morris Lang. British national. Spent some time in New York, was investigated several times in and out of mental institutions. And when his life took on a new meeting about 10 years ago, he started stalking an artist, a young woman who liked painting birds. She was murdered, thrown out of the window of her condo. They could never make the charges stick. His last known address was in Holland. The landlord said he hasn't seen him in over six months. He left one day, gave the landlord his personal belongings with the instructions to do whatever he wants with them, which upsets me because it doesn't sound to me like he's got a plan B. There were several mentions of him using his knife in his letters found at the hotel. 
Well, this, I believe, is his weapon of choice. Have we found out where the knife case came from? No, because it's custom-made, so it could have come from anywhere in the world. And what are the chances of finding him before he strikes? This guy's at his boiling point. He could show up anywhere, anytime. Excuse me, sir. There's a call for Detective Arlette. It's urgent. Who is it? It's a Morris Lang. Hello? I want to let you know that I missed you. I wanted you to know that. Yeah, well, I don't doubt that, Morris. But I want you to know I'm pretty smart, too. Smart enough, I'm sure, to understand this. Stay away from her. Sorry, Morris, but I just can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. We're gonna send some guys over to the airport, show us picture around, see if anybody's seen him. Get over to her. I'm on my way to the hotel. Excuse me, miss, miss, uh, is that your dog? Unfortunately, it is, for the time being. <laughs> Ugly, isn't he? Yes, remarkable. Never seen uglier. It's perfect. Perfect? For a ritual killing as an offering to the pagan gods, you mean? Has he, uh, ever done any print work? Oh. Nicholas Ritter. DDFNO advertising. It's me. Hi, Lisa. Is everything all right? I heard a noise. Now, is this the same noise you heard ten minutes ago and five minutes before that? Now, Lisa, you got nothing to worry about. You got an armed policeman outside in the hallway. I'm right next door. You're perfectly safe. When you are around, I thank God for you, Eddie. I really do. I don't know what I did to deserve you. You sound upset. I forgot my shaver at home. Oh. You look delicious anyway. It is better you don't shave. Lisa, listen to me. You can't be coming in here like this. There's got to be some ground rules. This isn't a game. I know. Find the knack first. That's a game. Come. I'll go first. No, Lisa. Oh, don't fight it, Eddie. I have a lot of love to give. If I can't have you, they may as well cut out my heart. I love you. I adore you. The very thought of you I love. No, you don't. You're scared. You're reacting to the fear. You're confused. You're conflicted because I've been protecting you. No. Yes. No. Yes, and you can't be telling people to wear an item either. Oh, who did I tell? Well, the German police seem to think we're going at it pretty good. Okay, so I told a few people. Oh, a few people? Who else? I only did it because I want to will it to happen, don't you see? I love your lips, Lisa! <sighs> that is the kind of man you are. You allow me to escape with my dignity. That is how beautiful 